Hey guys, what's up? I am Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and today in this video we'll talk about the effect of 2020 US presidential elections on Canadian immigration. Now many of you might not be aware that in 2016, the day Trump was declared that he has won the elections, the Canadian immigration website crashed. That is the impact I'm talking about. US presidential elections does have a big impact on Canadian immigration. And how is that possible? We'll talk about it in this video. And that is all what's coming up. Okay, before we move forward, I want to tell you that now I'm there on Instagram as well. So if you're on Instagram, look for Dreamers Abroad. Please note, it's not Dream Abroad, it's Dreamers Abroad. And of course, if you haven't joined, our Dream Abroad Canada Facebook family. What are you waiting for? There are more than 70,000 people helping each other. So if you have any questions or queries, you can go on to Dream Abroad Canada Facebook group and clarify all your doubts. Okay, as you might be aware, the date for 2020 US presidential elections have been declared. It would be on 3rd of November 2020. There are two contenders, Donald Trump, who is from Republican Party and Joe Biden, who is from the Democratic Party. Donald Trump, as you're aware, is the current president of USA, while Joe Biden was the vice president of USA from 2009 to 2017. During the time, Obama was the president of US. Now, because of the coronavirus pandemic, millions of jobs were lost and Trump signed an executive order that H-1B, L-1B, H-2B, J-1, all these visas would not be issued until the end of 2020. However, Joe Biden was, has been speaking against it. He's been kind of pro-immigration. Now, when I talk of immigration, I only talk of legal immigration. I'm not talking about the illegal immigration, anyone who's jumping in from Mexico or anywhere else. I'm talking about these legal uh, immigration only. Also, on July 6th, Trump shocked everyone when he signed an executive order for the students. Recently, he did something that was unimaginable. The Trump administration has announced that the US will not issue visas to students enrolled in schools or programs that are fully online for the fall semester, nor they will allow those students to enter US. Also, what was even more shocking is that active students currently in US enrolled in such programs must depart the country. So this is such a shocking news and obviously this will break the heart of hundreds and thousands of students studying in the US and through measures like these he is making this atmosphere that people have to go out of US. It would mostly be the US citizens who would be getting the jobs, who would be studying in US and the best option for all of those people who are studying in US or who are thinking of studying in US would be Canada. Now right from the starting, Trump's stand on immigration has been very clear. He's been saying clearly that he wants more and more US people, US citizens to be getting those jobs that are there in US instead of people coming in from different parts of the world and grabbing those jobs. Now, right from the starting, Trump has been taking the same stand on immigration. Now, what does his Republican Party has to say about immigration? What does the Democrats have to say about immigration? Let's check it out through some of the statistics. In this website here, I found something which is very interesting, some very key statistics. Republicans are far more likely than Democrats to view immigration as a critical threat. Around 78% Republicans think that immigration is a threat to US, while only 19% Democrats actually think so. Similarly, Republicans are far more likely than Democrats to restrict immigration policy measures effective like carrying out more arrests and deportations. So majorly Republicans are anti-immigration while Democrats are pro-immigration and we are talking about US immigration here. Now another key statistics, half of Republicans say legal immigration should be decreased while a third of Democrats say that it should be increased which clearly proves what I just said a while ago. Now you will say that uh, from the last couple of minutes you've been talking about Joe Biden or Donald Trump winning the election and its effect on US immigration but the video was about Canadian immigration. 
So how are they both interrelated? In a way they are and just think about it when Trump became the president when it declared that Trump has won the elections in 2016 then the Canadian immigration website crashed. Why did that happen? Because of his uh, announcements that uh, were there in his manifesto before that after he that if he becomes uh, the president if he gains the power then he will definitely cut down the immigration. So obviously people were fearful that uh, he might do anything, he might bring in some new policies and that's why they wanted to immigrate to Canada. And similarly, you, ha you must have been hearing similar news in the last four years that uh, he cuts on uh, you know, some immigration, he brings in some new policies or he's planning to bring in some uh, new bills which will impact immigration uh, you know, seriously. So all of this has been happening in the last four years and now because of the pandemic he's got a big reason to do that as well. If he wins then in that case he might bring in that bill uh, where it would be very difficult for US uh, for Indian techies to go to US and work over there. I'm talking about millions of jobs in four years time. So if Trump wins then in that case uh, the US immigration would slow down and he would advocate uh, that the US citizens should get those jobs and in that case all those potential candidates who were supposed to go to US most of them would be interested to come to Canada now I'm talking about the skilled immigrants I'm not talking about just any immigrant any tourist uh, visa person I'm talking about a person who is a skilled immigrant who has got uh, a well doing job in his home country let's say India so maybe he might be working in any of the big tech giant companies who has got offices or clients in uh, US. If that's the case, he's got an aspiration that he wants to live and settle and work in country like US. If he's not getting US, if he's got some chances or fears that uh, you know his uh, that his visa might get cancelled in the upcoming time, he might get deported in the upcoming time. In that case, he might think of coming to Canada. So all those people who are actually thinking of immigrating to Canada next year might face some more competition and they, and all these factors would actually uh, would eventually affect the, the CRS cutoff scores uh, it because you know obviously more and more people would be uh, going into the pool some people would have good scores some people would have bad scores uh, many of them would actually have uh, studied from US if they have a master's degree that would be considered as a, as a master's here in Canada as well and they would get more points. In that case, more skilled immigrants will enter the pool and obviously that will be a serious impact on the Canadian immigration. All those people who are waiting uh, in the express entry pool, maybe in the lower scores of 430, 440, they are expecting that uh, the uh, cutoff score would go down in the upcoming time. If it does not happen this year, then next year it would give, get even more difficult. On the other hand, if Joe Biden wins, then he would see a different situation altogether. Just like the Obama era, if Joe Biden wins, it would be the Democrats who would be in power and they support immigration. They would support those immigration policies that were there in the time of uh, President Obama. And at the same time, they can build new policies that would uh, help new immigrants to come in US and uh, maybe the highly skilled immigrant would now move to US. And many of those people who were thinking of Canada would consider US as another option. Yes, in that case, you can say that there will be lesser competition for Canadian immigration. Skilled immigrants, talented people would now also opt for US. They would try for intercompany transfers for the H-1B visas. And at the same time, and all those students studying in US or who are thinking of going to US would definitely opt getting a work permit there and working and settling in US instead of coming to Canada. So the comparison is pretty straightforward if the Republican Party or if Trump wins in that case, the Canadian immigration would see more competition in the years to come. And if Joe Biden or the Democrats win in that case, the Canadian immigration would see lesser competition and there would be a direct impact on the CRS score as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I just hope that you like the information shared in this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or any queries, please put them down in the comment section below. I would love to answer them. If you have any feedback, please let me know in the comment section. I will definitely try to act upon it. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video.
Thanks again.